Guys, I want to talk about this whole Wiley situation. I've tried not to talk about it for a while because it's a bit techy, it's a bit political, and my platform ain't really that big. And you know, you know, you know how I am already. I keep it real. I keep it funky. You know them ones there, one hundred. That's why I keep it. 200 sometimes, too real. That's why I have all of these like dumb, idiot, racist white boys from up north. Whenever I make a video about um, what's their leader called, it's not worth it anyway. Robinson, Tommy Robinson. Whenever I make videos about them kind of man or the EDL or just the racism in this country, these men, just so for them little things, yeah, these men are reporting my account, trying to get me, trying to get whatever done to my YouTube account, leaving horrible comments. If you don't just go and look at my comments, you'll see what I've gone. So when it comes to certain things, yeah, I try not to go, go into it because it's too techy and too political on them things there. And I just, you now I'm saying, I don't want to touch on it because I get passionate about certain things. I can end up saying things I don't want to say. I've had friends like telling me, don't do this, do this, or, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even editing this video. I'm just literally sitting there, Maggie in my hand, late night. I just want to speak how I feel about this Wiley situation. Wiley is not being done right. They are effing my man up. They, I swear they're trying to get him to commit suicide or something. You know when you box someone in a corner and then things like that. But to be honest, yeah, like when you're a fighter, if you get boxed in a corner, you come out fighting. And I know a lot of us, a lot of us, yeah, are behind Wiley in this. We are behind Wiley. I'm behind Wiley. I've always been behind him. What he said, yeah, what he said was wrong. I agree. It was not even he was wrong. It was the way he articulated himself. He couldn't say exactly what he wanted to say without it, without him insulting people, which is not right. I agree, which is not right. But there's a point, there's an actual point and facts behind what he's saying and them things there, yeah? But, <sighs> like, do you know what? I'll say it straight. I didn't want to say it. But see, you know when you talk about a certain group of people, mainly the Jewish people, yeah? Like, I... Like, I I'm going to say it. Mainly Jewish people. Whenever you say anything about Jewish people, I don't know why. Why is it always anti-Semitic? Yeah? Why is it always anti -Semitic? Everything's anti -Semitic. You can say anything. Man's are all anti-Semitic. Anti-Semitic. These times, yeah, you got Katie Hopkins, yeah? She's made a living, a living out of insulting ethnic minorities, Muslims, anybody who's not British, who's not white. This woman is dumb. Like, I'm not even trying to insult her or nothing, yeah? But she's the most ignorant, arrogant, dumbest racist. This is a woman who sat on national television, yeah? And insulted people that called um, their children, like, exotic names or names of countries and all that. And she got a daughter called India or something. It's like, this is the... This is, this is how smart these people are. They're not very, very smart. They're as smart as... I don't know. They're not very smart, yeah? So... This woman has made a campaign and a career of just spewing and speaking hatred on Twitter, on all her social media platforms. It took God knows how many campaigns and how many years for Twitter to shut her down. This woman has done some vile things. They've never, ever shut her down. Never, ever shut her down. They said they closed her Twitter account, but she still can be found on Instagram and other social medias if you really want to find her. She's out there. She's out there in them things there. Then you got the Tommy Robinson campaigning against Muslims and anyone who's not of this country and all this stuff. You're just racist people. All these people never been banned, never been, nothing ever been happening to them, yeah? You got this Shane Dawson guy the other day who's spewing, like, who's talking about raping kids and all these things, yeah? Like, his YouTube is still up there. You, I can think, uh, do you know what? I can't, like, literally, I'm sipping this drink here and, I, and my thoughts are a bit scrambled. I can't put them all together. But I didn't want to do no video where I'm just editing and, you know what I mean, where I'm cutting certain bits. I just want to just tell you how I feel, yeah? Like, the way Wiley's been done is wrong, man. It's flipping wrong. It is wrong. And you know what, yeah? Like, as black people or as a people, not just black people, as human beings, certain times you have to stand for stuff. And we're in this time, right in this time, we're in 2020 where the world's just literally turning upside down this is the time to start standing up for something this is the stuff it's not even about wiley everything wiley said in his little rant yeah it's not it, all right it's not accurate and factual but he had some points and a lot of his points you know are proving to be true now shy wait he took away his facebook he took away his instagram he took away his now his youtube as well you, you're taking that away as well mad Mad, mad, mad. I don't even know what to say, but like, 
You're literally trying to stop his kids from eating. You're trying to stop him from paying his bills. Other just like, wait, so you're, what, you're, what you're telling me right now, yeah? As human beings, we can't make mistakes. Because all the all your, all the white people have been making mistakes all day long. These KT Hopkins and Tommy Robinsons and like Danny Baker said whatever he said about the, um, the royal people. He never, he never, he's fine. All these people are fine. But as soon as he's a black man, he's got to pay. He's got to pay 10 times as hard, 20 or 100 times as hard because of the color of his skin. Because you lot don't like the truth. That, do you know what, yeah? <sighs> I'm trying not to say certain things here. Yeah? I'm trying not to say certain things. But it gets me mad. It gets me so angry. Like, I'm not a violent person. I'm not aggressive, yeah? But sometimes you just feel helpless. Like, you just want to lash out. Literally. Wiley, yeah? He's, he's all right. Let's just, let's just assume he said some wrong things. Who hasn't said wrong things? Who in, in the media hasn't said wrong things or done wrong things and all this stuff, yeah? Like, I, I know it's all of it. Even, like, when I look at, like, so many things, like, acting and stuff, like, someone like that Robin, Robert Downey Jr. and stuff, yeah? And certain actors, like, what's his name? Russell, uh, not actors, and um, presenter, like Russell Brand back in the days. These guys have had crack addictions, Coke, crack, heroin addictions, high addictions, messed up their jobs, messed up their life. But when you're privileged and white, you get the chance again. Let a, one, a white man and a black man make one little mistake like what Miley just, Wiley just did. They ruin your whole career. Your whole career is done. They've done your dance, end up party, lights on and them things there. It's not right. They're taking away YouTube as well. These, um, what are they call The CAA, the people for anti-Semitic stuff. This is crazy. Like, how is a man meant to feed himself just off of saying one thing? But you lot can say anything you want all day long, yeah? And it's fine. It's fine. They've taken the man's YouTube away. Nah, man. That is wrong. That is wrong. Like, it's, it's publishing. It's dropped him. Everyone's dropped him. Everybody's dropped him. So, <sighs> do you know what, yeah? Like, if anyone in this, I don't, like, my platform's only small. I started this a year ago, and I, I, I'm very grateful for my subscribers and people that watch me all the time and people that want me to pop more content. And I wish I could pop more content, but I've just got, like, other obligations in the day, like a job and other, like, side hustles that I'm trying to do, like, do you know what I'm saying? I've got mortgage and bills to pay and stuff, yeah? So, like, I really wish I could do more stuff, yeah? But I can't, and I wish I could put out more more, my platform ain't that big, that's my point, yeah? There's people out there in this industry. Like, all of you guys, yeah? All, all these rappers and all that, yeah? And I know, like, before, pre this, yeah, we was all laughing at Wiley because he used to be on Instagram having his rant. He was jokey, jokey, laughy, laughy, yeah? But Wiley, he's, he's loved. We love Wiley. Wiley's cool. He's done nothing to no one. He's, 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 he's in, in the genre, he's loved. Do you know what I'm saying? People out there, MCs, all you big MCs, like literally, like, like I don't, I don't want to mention no names and put no one like in the hot seat and them things there. But people need to stand up for this guy and really defend what's right, because this is not just about Wiley. It's about they're attacking your color, they're attacking your skin. They're telling you no matter how much money you have or no matter what you have, you ain't shit. That's what they're telling you. They're, they're telling you you ain't shit. That's exactly what they're saying. Nah, man. Nah, man. Do you know what? I know it's a white man's world. It's a white man's country we live in, yeah? But, like, this England, yeah, is meant to be some multicultural country. They always preach a multiculturalness. I saw some advert earlier on. Like, they got, if you notice, yeah, they got adverts with, like, loads of mixed race families now. They always try to preach this multiculturalism and all that. But they're racist as hell. They're racist as hell. A man said something. It's not like he's gone and killed, done a massacre, or touched kids or something. And you're just trying to done his dance just like that. Nah, man, uh, this is not right. This is not right. I just saw, you know what, yeah? I wasn't gonna do no video about this, like I said, yeah? But when I saw this whole YouTube thing, yeah? Like, that was the last straw. You know the straw that broke the camel's back and them things there? This is dumb. This is this is an idiot thing. You know what I'm saying? I know, like, the powers that be are much greater than we could, we haven't got it. But, you know what? You know, I'm having a little rant here. I'm sorry, yeah? You know what baffles me about this whole world, yeah? How the hell is all of us let just a handful of men just control us just like that and we have no say in what's going on. Do you know why? Because they've made everyone so comfortable in their little lives, yeah, with their little cell phones, tablets, cars and all this. Like, every year they raise taxes, they raise all sorts of stuff. They, they're effing up your lives and we're just like, okay, cool, just carry on.
Like, nah, man. See, I'm not about that life. I'm not. You can see just... But my whole thinking and thought and mindset is different. I can't really share it on YouTube how I want to, yeah? But I am not no passive guy. I'm not no servant to nobody. Listen, I'll... Like, like, like... Not, not, I'll die trying to be the person I want to be. I'm not going to let no one box me in or corner, in and come, corner me in and them things there. Let me know what you guys think about this. I don't want to go... I could go on forever. Literally, me and my friends have been having this conversation. And I've been wanting to say stuff from before, but... It's techie, but I have to say stuff now, man. I just don't care no more, man. You have to say stuff, man. Let me know what you think. Yeah, some of what Wiley said might have not... He might have not said it right. And it, like he said on Sky News, when he appeared on Sky News and talked about it, he generalised everyone. Yeah, that's right. He generalised... He shouldn't have generalised everyone. Because it's like people generalising all black people. You can't do that, Yeah. But he has points and his points are being proven now. The powers that be shutting him down. <sighs> it's so hard to be black. Let me know what you guys think, man. It's your boyfriend, Stones.